June 19, 1984, the NBA draft at Madison Square Garden's Felt Forum. The number one pick, Akeem Olajuwon. Number two, Sam Bowie. The third player chosen was probably the most exciting, Michael Jordan of North Carolina. His brilliant play in the Olympics, leading the U.S. to a gold medal, and his performance in the NBA preseason and the opening weeks of the regular season has a lot of people thinking perhaps he should have been the number one draft pick. Nevertheless, one thing is certain, he has a bright future ahead of him. Let's hope so. Uh, you know, professional love is very hard work, and uh, I think I'm dedicated enough to work hard and, and try to be the best basketball player I can. And you know, it's good to get, get comments from everyone, and uh, that's inspiring to go out and keep working hard. How's the transition been from one from college to the Olympic experience and now to the NBA? Well, I think it's, it's been pretty easy. You know, I, I think the Olympic was kind of pre-professional uh, level. It was fast-paced, it was physical, and that's just the type of NBA game. Is. And, uh, you know, coming on this level is a brand new start for me. And I have to start from the bottom and work my way up. So, uh, you know, I think the hard work is ahead of me. And I'm, I'm willing to take on that, that challenge and go out and play the best I can. After the Olympics and the glory and wearing the gold medal, was it difficult to come down from that high? It was. It was. I think the Olympics was a big uh, dream come true for me. Uh, you know, a lot of players don't get the chance to represent the United States. And I did. And I was very happy to do that. And now I'm just coming off of that. And I know it's... It's reality now, and it's in the past, and I have to look forward to the future, but it's going to be some fond memories, and, and I have to uh, get ready for my professional career. What did they tell you they expected from you? Certainly the fans of Chicago have been hungry for a winner for a long time. What are they, they expect you to be the savior. What about the coach and, the, and your fellow teammates? Well, naturally, the expectation is going to be high, and uh, I guess the coach has been reminding me that, hey, it's a team basketball game, and you really don't have to take burden on yourself to try to go out and do everything yourself. And I kind of picked that up. You know, I'm not trying to do everything uh, for myself. I just think that right now the best thing for me is to try to fit in with this ball club and try to mingle and become a winning team. And so far it's been working out. You know, uh, I get advice from each coach and staff about the style of professional basketball. And I'm picking up little, little things as I play other basketball players. And, you know, I'm getting knowledge of the professional style of game. Good luck to you. And uh, I expect that uh, Rookie of the Year honors would not be out of line for you. Well, that's good. If, if we're winning. I mean, if the team wins, and I, I like to accept those individual awards with, with greatness. But uh, uh, I really like to, to see the team do well before I can do well. If you want to see an amazing clip from a young Les Brown, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when just over three years ago, in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan,